always give you guys things. You couldn't do one thing for me. One thing. I asked for freaking smoothie recipes. Welcome back to my channel today by the title. You guys know that we're doing a grocery haul. Now, most of these things are from Walmart, so it says the title for my grocery haul. But a few of these things are not from Walmart. I have a few things from Kroger, as well as a few things from Trader Joe's. Now, this grocery haul is just basically a weekly grocery haul, so it's not a lot of stuff. However, I have an issue with going through the store like throughout the week and picking up other things. I think that I'm really like addicted to groceries. It's it's really bad, I don't know what's the problem. But anyway, I'm just gonna go jump into the haul. You guys, I don't have a lot of stuff. So this is the snapshot for my groceries for the week. And we're gonna talk about everything individually. So I'm gonna start with meats first. I have this boneless beef for carne piccata, basically just little small pieces of beef. I got this from Kroger and it was on sale. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I think I'm just gonna like use it like over rice with maybe some cabbage or something. I'm just throwing things together. Moving on, also from Kroger, I do have some bacon. Now, funny enough, you guys, I actually only got bacon because I wanted bacon grease. Why do they not just sell bacon grease? Does anybody know if you could just buy bacon grease? Because I didn't even want bacon. I just wanted the grease. But anyway, got some bacon, so I guess I'll have bacon at some point. Maybe I'll save it for this weekend and make Bear some breakfast. That'll be nice of me, right? I picked up these Tyson chicken patties from Walmart. I've already ate one today. They're pretty good. I didn't realize that only four come in here. I think they were like $4 though, so that's like a dollar a package, I guess, a piece. Um, these are pretty good, kind of nostalgic of childhood because you guys, I don't know if you guys used to get chicken patties for lunch at school, but them chicken sandwiches with them little patties was lit, child. Also from Walmart, I have a, another Tyson thing. So these are grilled chicken nuggets. I'm hoping that these are good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Probably again, putting it over rice with a veggie. I have no idea, you guys. This shopping haul is all over the place. This shopping week was all over the place. I really should have taken the time to plan out my groceries, but I did not. So that's why I have like all these random things and now I'm trying to figure out, oh my God, what are you, like what are we gonna put together? The last thing I have for meats, well, I have the jerky, I'll go ahead and say, but that's mostly a snack. Anyway, I picked up this Chipotle pork tenderloin that's like already seasoned. I got this from Walmart. Um, I have no idea what that's gonna taste like, but it's Chipotle. So like, it's kind of giving me like Mexican vibes, which brings me to my first veggie that I wanna speak about. I got from Trader Joe's. Y'all know I love Trader Joe's. This is Trader Joe's Mexican style roasted corn. So it's like the elote corn, but it's not on the cob. And I hope that this is really good. I mean, it's from Trader Joe's, so I'm pretty sure it's really good. But yeah, I got this to eat with the pork. And then I'll have to make a veggie. It's probably gonna be cabbage, which brings me to my next thing. Um, Trader Joe's actually has shredded cabbage. And I appreciate that. I do. Because I like my cabbage shredded when I eat it. I don't know why. Instead of it being like kind of like leaves or sliced or whatever, I prefer it to be shredded. Thank you Trader Joe's for making shredded cabbage. You, you a real one. Also from Trader Joe's, y'all like, damn it, we thought this was a Walmart haul, but I told y'all. It's mostly Walmart and Trader Joe's, I guess, but mostly Walmart. This is my last Trader Joe thing, I promise. So, shaved Brussels sprouts. If you know, you know. You know me, you know I'm a Brussels sprout fanatic. And I also love the shaved Brussels sprouts because I like to make these actually on the stove top, if you guys watch. If you guys are a snowflake, then you know that I usually put them in the oven, but when they're shredded up like this and it's mostly leaves, I like to actually like pan fry them. So I have that and that wraps up everything for veggies. Now quickly, I don't have a lot of snacks, but I'll jump into snacks. These are the beef jerky that I was telling you guys about that I got from Walmart. It's the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, I usually eat my beef jerky with cheese and crackers. We did not need to get new cheese, so I did not re-up on any cheese. However, I 
got a little cracker happy and I picked up some ranch wheat thins which I love wheat thins my other favorite cracker Triscuits I love Triscuits and I have not had this flavor this is Triscuit fire roasted tomato and olive oil and I'm super duper excited for it because I've been eating Triscuits since I was a child my daddy used to eat Triscuits and like drink his wine with cheese so I, I don't have the wine because I'm not a wine person unless it's sweet wine but anyway I do like my Triscuits also for snacks I know somebody gonna say something but y'all already know I believe in balance Sometimes you want something sweet. So I do have these Chips Ahoy Candy Blasts. Pretty much they're just freaking M&M's in the cookies. So yeah. And it's weird enough, but I usually only crave sweet things at night. Am I the only person? Like, what is it about? Why do we want sweet things right before it's time to go to bed? I have no idea. This isn't a snack, but this is the only condiment I bought. This is just Honey Mustard, Ken's Honey Mustard, Walmart. Um, I do not know why. I'm on a honey mustard kick. Like, I've been putting honey mustard on everything, you guys. Like, weird things like pizza. We're not going to discuss it. I'll just put the honey mustard down. Nah. Alright, so for a side, which is the only side I got besides veggies, I picked up some yellow rice. Y'all, I've never had this before, this brand, but, like, it has seasoning in it. I'm going to read you guys the ingredients. So, it's long grain rice. I'm not going to read all the ingredients, actually, because... It's not important, but I'm gonna read the seasonings off. So this is long grain rice, yellow seasoning, which is salt, sugar, dehydrated onion, turmeric, dehydrated garlic, cornstarch, yeast extract, spices, and saffron. It sounded good. So I was like, hey, let me try this rice. Anybody have this freaking rice? It looks like it's a staple in other people's household. This is the way it looks, I don't know. So that's like the only side I got that's besides a vegetable and I got some drinkables here drinkables is that a word I picked up some Quaker oat beverage vanilla this is basically like a milk substitute Walmart for freaking dollars and I'm trying not to consume milk but it's weird because I eat cheese and I like yogurt and I'm never giving it up but I think milk is disgusting so I try to substitute it but I'm still in taking milk in some form or fashion or dairy. I picked up a Simply Limeade. Really, this is for Bear because you guys know that I'm on a Simply Watermelon kick. Like, I just always want Simply Watermelon. It's amazing. It's great. It's fantastic. So, this is Bear's. And last but not least, I got a Simply Smoothie Strawberry Banana. I have been wanting to try this, um, but it's expensive and it's is not the best in terms of calories it's 140 calories for eight fluid ounce and the ingredients are strawberry puree banana puree apple juice grape juice and lemon juice and with that being said looking at the ingredients why do i have a hard time making my own smoothies i asked you guys to provide me with smoothie recipes but did you i always give you guys things you couldn't do one thing for me one thing i asked for freaking smoothie recipes I'm being extra, but it's cool, it's cool. This is good. I would prefer it to be sweeter. And I know you guys are probably like, why? Because Smoothie King has spoiled me and I like really sweet smoothies that taste like they're not good for me. But this is all right, it's drinkable. I wanna make my own smoothies with my own freaking fruit and I want them to be good. Cause when I make them, they don't turn out good most of the time. But, however, that does wrap up my little mini grocery haul for the week. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you can see my What I Eat In The Day videos that will be featuring these foods for the week. And, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.